Alright, we are actually recording this time. Okay, now. Well, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it, everyone. Should we Oops. get right down to it? <laughs> Oops. I'm so curious to see how much of this conversation makes it into the final edit. So am I. <laughs> All of that, uh, I hope. In, in any case. <laughs> Alright, let, well, let's begin, in any case. Um, so, last week, last episode, uh, was a lot about uh, coming together, I think, as a, as, a, as a party, as a group. You had uh, talked to one of the prominent pe- people in the town, Olivessa, uh, who had come to you with a problem. Um, People are expecting mead deliveries from good from good mead, um, and this latest attack uh, on the delivery has caused people to be pretty shook. Drivers don't want to go out, fear for their life, um, and you know people are worried about that. You're missing some town militia that had gone after the Verbeek, um, and so she'd come to you Malicious. with a bit of conundrum. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> See, I find this a lot in the recordings, you guys doing background <laughs> snarky comments, and I do find them later, so... But they're so deliciously snarky. <laughs> um, so, she came to you with a problem, and uh, there was multiple ways you could have you could have approached it, and I think uh, you guys decided that you, as a... Uh, uh, to help out the town, that you would take the next delivery outbound, which would uh, show a bit of confidence if you could successfully, you know, uh, weren't going to be attacked on the way out. If you can make the delivery successful, obviously you'll build some relations with other towns for good mead. Uh, and, you know, that that will help uh, overall. So, uh, Olivesa had mentioned that uh, Car Dineval, Car Conig, which are northern towns from where good mead is, um, suffers from a bit of lack of transportation. Mm. I don't know if she said why. Did I, does anyone remember if, I, if that was mentioned? They... They suffer from a lack of transportation. Yeah, like Tar did deliveries out that way recently. Uh, she said that they were. Don't I remember. She told us why. I okay, we'll leave it at that. Um, but suffice to say, uh, deliveries out to both of those towns in particular. Um, but she was just suspecting that Karkonig, um probably hasn't had a lot of deliveries for quite a while because it's so far north. Um, both of those towns are on a uh, a lake called Lac Dunashir. Uh, which runs from the red uh, red waters of where good meat is all the way up further north and beyond. Mm. Um, so she has tasked you with taking a small delivery because that's all they could spare um, further north to to care care Karkonig. Jen's looking at me every time I say it because you're so thinking sorry. of The Witcher, right? Well, it's care. Care. It's not car. I thought it was car. Oh. I've got a pronunci- bear. Actually, bear. I, I do bear have a pronunciation Conig. guide here, and I, you are probably right. Look, the, the one in The Witcher is with a K, so maybe with a C they pronounce it a little bit differently. No, I think it's the same. Care. I think you're right. Is it of Celtic origin? Care. care. Because uh, the pronunciation has a K in it on the pronunciation guide. So you're right. Um, ignore me, because I'm terrible with, uh, with pronunciation. But just wanted to help. <laughs> care Conig and Care uh, Dineval. Now, those are named after the sort of castles and fortresses that are built that sort of gave the towns their start. Uh, you've been charged then to head north, and so you took a uh, a, a dog sled, and a number of a number of dogs to pull a large sleigh, a large sled with a small delivery, and the four of you on the back of it. You made your way to the crossroads of the Eastway, where you took a, uh, an hour long break, uh, break. One thing I will uh, bring up is that the dogs do need to take a quick break every hour or so. Um, maybe about 10 minutes or so to just recover or recharge. Uh, they can't just go straight for hours and hours and hours. So that's just sort of factored in with the travel time. Can we factor in that every time we do that, just before we take our complimentary short rest? We it's not a short rest because it's only 10 minutes. <laughs> it's not now. So they, they run for about an hour, they break for about 10 no, no, minutes. I'm just saying while they're running, that's a, that's a, long, that's a short rest, right? You can't, <laughs> you can't get short rests continuously on the way. I can. No, you can't. <laughs> oh. Um, but so you decide, but you, you've taken, you went to the East way to the crossroads, which would take you to East Haven or Bryn Shanda. And then you started heading further North. You got to a point where you were on, I would say either side of a very narrow passage above the lap, the lake, Lac Dunashir, and, um, and just wasteland off to your West. Mm. Uh, when you were suddenly beset on by a blizzard. 
Uh, you, I tried to get you to no use survival one saw it to divine the weather coming in, and uh, no one was particularly able to sort of work out the, the danger that was approaching. And the, probably the one person best suited to doing that would, had her hands full uh, full with the dogs. Tapped, I said, you, look, I'm giving you a map. <laughs> I think so. In any case, uh, you a blizzard then slammed into the sleigh that you were uh, riding, and that's where we left off. So, you guys are hit with a blizzard. Oh, First thing no. I want to do, want to know, oh no, indeed. First thing I want to know is just the immediate action that you guys take um, when this happens. So you, you've got uh, both Sveta and Horatio are standing on the back uh, with the dogs, Sveta driving. And I've got uh, Woden and Carnelian in the sleigh. Carnelian probably more nestled down because uh, he's quite oh. small. Um, Woden is a very big man and probably sticks up the top quite quite a ways. So, what's your immediate gut reaction in this in the moment that the blizzard hits? Well, can I? Well, whereabouts on along the road are we? Have we crossed the east way yet? You've crossed the the crossroads of the east way. So you guys have that map in front of you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you look at Good Mead and you track that road that goes to a crossroads between East Haven, Brinchanda, and then it goes north to the two cares. Right. Yeah. Uh, you guys are probably halfway along that road between Kerr, Dinaval, and um, and the crossroads. crossroads. Okay. So you can see that sort of cliff I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know what you mean now. It's like a, oh, a, yeah, a okay. ridge. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's not a yeah, a ridge is actually a great. Right. A ridge is a great expression. It's not really a cliff per se or like a narrow thing. It's a it's a broader than that. Yeah. Uh, so what what we we were saying is uh, the the ridge is what I'm talking about. Can you see that handout, uh, Jen? Yeah. Um, so see where the east way is, where it's that crossroads, mm -hmm. uh, and then you've got um, Ker Dinaval further north. It's about halfway between there is where you are. Okay, east way to our west. Yeah, so it's <laughs> behind you to the south. Yeah. You can see the crossroads, yeah. Yeah. I feel <laughs> so sorry. So that's where you are when the when the when the blizzard hits. So what's your immediate yeah. reaction? So I'm going to go around the table. Horatio was saying something. Yeah, I'm going to whip out my mace. Yep. Keep my eyes and ears peeled. Okay. So you're going to draw draw a weapon. Draw a weapon. Uh, Woden, what are you doing at this moment? I'm going to quickly tie my hair up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Carnelian. Uh, how heavy is the wind? Heavy. Uh, it's a blizzard. So, so is it like enough to push the... A blizzard. You can, feel, you can feel the cart move quite substantially once the snow hits, yes. Do we have like... Uh ropes to tie everything down what's in your pack you're the ones that uh so everything that's been tied down will be the mead delivery itself uh, but all the ropes would have been used to tie that down there's no additional rope from unless you've bought some additional rope have, have we secured our load yeah i would say that you've secured your packs for the most part in the cart so probably carnelian and woden are the best position to get anything from your packs you know what I mean? I'll, um, I just, I'll make sure everything's tied down firmly. Okay, so, alright, so you tie back your hair, then realise yes. that maybe you should hair also... First. Hair first. <laughs> Good second. I'm just worried. Alright, well, uh, Chameleon has rope and pittons and a hammer. Yep, I'm going to say that you can access your bag because you're in the cart. Yeah. Uh, the Chameleon is going to need to help, so... He will... Uh, get the attention of the human tying his hair back. I'll kind of look over and, uh, do you need something? Uh, Carnelian thinks it's best that we tie down the sled, considering the wind. Okay, I've just got to help? tie down something very important first, and then I'll help you. Right, I'm going to say that exchange <laughs> happens in that instant. Sveta, what would you like to do? You've got these... The dogs are running. Mm. You've been hit by a blizzard, and you can feel uh, like that sled riding, like just sort of slipping beneath you. Uh, I'm gonna call out. Uh, the, I assume I would know the command "stop" <laughs> word for the dogs. Yes. You, are we doing it every every hour or so? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you want to slow down the the, the dogs? Yeah. Okay. Um, hopefully they can hear over the wind. Um, and then my immediate jerk reaction is to get my shield and then remember I left it at home. So no shields. <laughs> oh my god! Did you? <laughs> I did. Uh, okay. I had my bundle of wood. Yep. And nothing else. Did you bring your like? Pack? So you forgot it in character, or you just yeah? Didn't... I forgot it in character. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have it out of good. character, but not in character. 
Uh, nice. well, up, well, thank you for keeping yourself honest. You're very welcome. Um, you might want to remedy that situation at some point. Well, next time I see a shield, I'll be sure to pick <laughs> it up. Um, but for now, uh, I mean, yeah, uh, for now, so you, you're trying to slow the dogs down. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to say then is that, uh, so the, 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 the car will slow, but not stop just yet. Um, as your immediate, you know, you can't just stop them on a dime. They're, it's a, it's moving as a, on, on ice and snow. So, as this blizzard hits, I want everyone to give me... So, I want uh, everyone in the cart to give me a dexterity save. And I want um, Horatio... Can you give me a, like a strength save? Because you're holding on, rather than trying to not fall out. And then, so Sveto, I would like you to do a handle animal check. To try and handle the dogs. Hang on, I'm holding... What You're on the back of the sleigh with Sveta, right? Yeah. So the the other two are trying not to fall out of the cart. So Dexterity save to like grab something. Yeah. You're already holding on. Oh, so I'm so doing you need strength to hold. instead. So you can do a strength or athletics check, depending on which one you would like to do. Okay. Bleh. Uh, who's ready to go? Who's ready to go? <laughs> Sveta. Oh, Fantastic. 24. 24. Okay. Nice. Fair uh, Right. Okay. So let's go. We'll go around. I'll tell you what happens when everyone... What happens? So, uh, Zimmer, how's Canelian going? Uh, that is a 23 death check. Okay. Be nimble. Woden. <laughs> Woden didn't go so well. Okay. He got a six. Six. Good Did to know. Good hair. to know. And Horatio? Oh. Uh, I'm not very strong. Six. Six. Okay. So this... Oh. So you're... This is what happens. Um, Sveta, because uh, not only are you trying to slow the cart down, you're trying to control the cart and the, the dogs. Uh, so your, your save will actually effectively let you now almost slow to a... Like, pretty much slow to a stop after... I was going to say a couple meters, but in D&D terms, a, a few feet, right? Mm -hmm. um, Carnelian, you're able to grab a rope just as, like, you hit, you hit like, a, a bump that would send you flying out of the sled. Uh, but you do manage to grab a rope and just hang on as it flips you up and just come down on top of the barrels of meat. Woden, not so lucky, hits the same bump while he's in the middle of tying his hair back <laughs> and just falls out backwards up to the side. Uh, and you fall down, I'm going to say... Ooh, who's on the left and who's on the right side of the, of the sled? I'll be on the left side. Okay, so you fall out um, over the left-hand side. Uh, and you start rolling down an incline. Oh! Uh, Horatio, you uh, are hitting the same bump as trying to hold on, and you just lose your grip strength. A lot. Like just, you don't have, you weren't expecting it, um, and so whilst you were hanging on, it just sort of, uh, you've been hanging on for hours essentially, mm. uh, and just your grip had weakened, especially since you grabbed out your mace. Really mm -hmm. holding on with one hand, and you just fall out the back of the sled. Oh. Now oh. you fell out the back, so you're not falling down any particular incline or anything like that. Okay. Um, but you very quickly lose sight of the sled uh, because you, everyone's visibility now is reduced to only about, say, twenty feet or so. I was going to ask um, because yep. Horatio is right beside me. Mm -hmm. and we would have been talking about salves yes. and whatnot in our journey. Oh god, would yes. Would I be able to make <laughs> some sort of reflex save? To try and, so you want to try and grab and his grab like his, his okay. chest or collar. She said the thing. If you'd like to, I will get you to try and use a reflex save. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in fifth edition terms, a dexterity save to try and catch Horatio as he falls out. Now you're still keeping one hand on a, uh, a mm. load of dogs, so this roll is a disadvantage. Okay. Never gone well, but just saying. Makes sense to me. Well, I'd rather he not snap his neck, you know? I didn't say he snapped his neck, but well, you, you just, just put the idea in my head. Please don't. Okay. I like Horatio. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, eight. Eight. Okay. No. <laughs> Unfortunately. No. You reach, well, out, <laughs> you reach out to catch Horatio and just... You grab the very tip of his fingers as he falls backwards over the snow. Horatio, you fall. You don't fall too Oof. far, but you just fall out of the back of the oh. sled. But Oof. you very quickly lose sight. So I'm going to say, uh, when you stand up, it's just a whiteout around you. Oh. And the temperature has dropped considerably since it came in. 
So oh, you're in oh. warm weather gear, oh. uh, but you're already feeling it through your gear. Woden, you're tumbling and falling. Um, I want you to make me another reflex save. Dexterity save. As old as you. Okay, thanks. I guess I'm not as old as you. <laughs> In terms of my experience. I think you also mentioned. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that is a 12. Okay. You are falling just end over end and starting to roll down a hill. Um, and it's starting to get steep. You are able, however, uh, as you're rolling down, to reach out and grab a rock to help slow your fall. But you slip off, and then you come to a stop. Like you, you've, but you've slowed your momentum enough to come to a stop. However, um, the way you've fallen, you are buried in snow. Um, so you're in danger right now in that you, you have very limited breath. Uh, and you have no idea where the card is. You're, up, you're effectively upside down. Moving to uh, Sveta and Carnelian, what do you want to do? You, your visibility is reduced to about 20 feet or so, and two people have gone out of the cart. The blizzard is howling around. The dogs have stopped, and they're all yipping and yowling. You know, Sveta, that if you stay out in a blizzard for a long period of time, um, you're risking serious cold exposure. Uh, Carnelian will start by casting a fairy fire spell. Okay. On us and the dogs. Okay. I will elect to fail my saving throw for this. Okay. As will I. Okay. All the dogs would like to resist. No. That's okay. <laughs> Damn it. I, I'd cast on, on the card if I could, but I actually can't. Has to cast on creatures. So, for, so maybe for just the people listening, do you want to give a brief overview so, of the fire? Mm. Sure can. Does it involve fairies, more importantly? <laughs> it can. Uh, so each of, oh it is each object so I can cast it on the um, mm-hmm. on the yeah yeah you, yeah you can uh, cast in a twenty foot cube within range is yep. outlined in blue green or violet lights we'll say violet yep uh, any creature in the area within the spell uh, is also outlined in light if it fails a dexterity saving throw yep. for the duration objects and affected creatures shed dim light in a ten foot radius. Any attack roll against an affected creature has advantage if the attacker can see it and the affected creature or object benefit from being invisible. Now, I don't know how you'd like uh, rule this one because the fog cloud, Mm. when you're in a fog cloud, you are treated as being not invisible but blind, right? Yes. But it's. Obscured or is it. No, blinded. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, I like I like the idea of it. Um, I will say that as soon as you cast it, you can see through. It's like not like you can see through the blizzard, but you can definitely it gives you. I'm gonna say it gives you advantage to find each other in the fog. Okay, that makes sense. What I will say is, um, so that is what you're doing and doing right now. That is kind of yeah. upon seeing people get thrown out. Yeah, he's going to fairy fire the okay. cut to I'm make keep, it easy I'm to keep find. That in mind. Uh, Sveta, what would you like to do? Um, I was going to do create bonfire, but I don't believe it produces flame outside the fifth of the five it's, foot Yeah, cube. it's pretty limited. So what I'll do is I will assume the cart is now at a stop. It is at a stop, yes. Um, I will go to the front of the dogs okay. and bring them around okay. because uh, they're, not, they're loose enough that they'll be able to all be... Yep. In like huddled circle, yep. Um, and manually turn the cart around with the dogs, okay. And see if traveling like, can we see any of the sled tracks? I think that sounds like a roll, like maybe a survival yeah, check. Let's, uh, make a so what what are you trying to do exactly? You're trying to find the tracks that you just made. Trying to find the tracks we just made and seeing okay. if along the way, if, when if and when I do find them. If there's any impact site for either Woden or Horatio. Okay. What I will say is a blizzard will quickly um, destroy tracks, but it's only just happened. So I will let you roll without uh, getting having a disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Um, straight up survival check will help you find the trail that you've just been on. Well, I'm actually going to, because this is a pretty dire circumstance, I'm mm-hmm. actually going to mm-hmm. shift okay. into my more cat yep. form. Which and gives you roll advantage, with advantage on, s- yeah. on okay. survival. Excellent. Yes. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna find my mates. 
So. Huh. Wonderful. Uh, that is a 22. 22. Oh, All right. <laughs> you are able to definitely find the track. And um, I'm going to say because you're shifted, um, your, all your senses are, heightened, senses are heightened, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll keep that in mind as well. But this only lasts for a minute, so I, I have to go as fast quick. as possible with this. Yeah. Do you want to decouple some of the dogs and leave the cart where it is, or do you want to... Keep... Is there anywhere for me to couple the dogs? You could decouple a couple of dogs. You could decouple all of them uh, really couple, quickly. Couple. The wind isn't changing, right? It's, like it's all... just like sideways. So we should turn the cart sideways Ooh. and put the dogs like behind the car to keep them out of the wind. Yeah. Can I do that before I ship? Yes. It's so you can, I just want to maximise the use. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. I'm looking, yeah. it, it's, this is going to be a pretty dire situation, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um, I will allow it. Um, so I'll give you like maybe 30 seconds to quickly do that. Like You guys think of it that quickly because yeah. both of you are experienced in this kind of thing. I know um, that that would come to your characters quite quickly. So I will allow you to do that. And then you can shift and find the direction that you're, that you're going in. Can we do we have that firewood you collected? No, I dropped it off at home. Yeah, she specifically oh, I, left it there. I do have two sticks with me that I was using as a, for some reason, a tambourine, but I was thinking more like this uh, <laughs> chapstick. Clap sticks? Clap sticks? <laughs> in, yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> I don't know, someone said it in a, in a last tambourine. Episode, she was helping out with the performance. <laughs> that's um, oh, that's alright. <laughs> that's me. Clap sticks. So I've got my two clap sticks, so we can be a Two man band. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And try and find our friends. Uh, so you found the trail that you're on. So I'm going to say that's where we're standing for you for right now. Uh, Horatio, uh, you oh. are, you've just stood up. Oh. You mm. can't see anything in front of you. What do you want to do? Um, can I see uh, the tracks? Make a survival check, I think. Because oh. you've just fallen out. You've, you've rolled over. Um, mm. The tracks that are immediately around you is kind of hard to make out without a survival check. Mm. It ain't great. It, that's a six. Yeah, I mean, you can't tell because the, I mean, the blizzard has very quickly obliterated a lot of the tracks, oh. and the heaviest mm. and deepest thing is obviously where you fell. Mm. Okay. Help me! <laughs> All right. So your your action is to call. Help me! <laughs> 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 okay. I mean, I don't, I don't blame it. Your action is to call out. Okay. Not just, <laughs> not just, not just any call, a distress call. Oh. So that like, did sound very distressing. <laughs> Alright. Should I do it again, just in case you didn't get that? I'm gonna have to, like, really get the peak out of that. Okay, so oh, you... Oh, I'll peek, do right. <laughs> oh, he, he peeked several microphones. I know. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting one for me. I like to fill the studio space. <laughs> you really filling my house's space right now. <laughs> so, okay, so uh, you call out in distress. I'll let, yeah. Yes, I like. I will not move. You're not moving because I'm pretty sure I've fallen like on the track or within a meter of it. So yeah. Okay. I'm not going to take any chances by moving around. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say that's your action then. Um, okay. That means Horatio, who I would consider to probably be in the most danger. Um, Zimmer, uh, being my you, the, resident you talking outside. About Woden or Horatio? Yeah, no, 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 Woden. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, rules for suffocation. Drowning. Suffocation. Suffocation and drowning. Uh, we might want to look this up. Yeah, we might need to look this up. It's going to be somewhat relevant in a second. Can I ask a question quickly? Yeah. Well, just, yeah, back to me. Right. Um, can I do something else um, rather than while I'm yelling? Okay. Can I just have a quick look and see if I can see where Woden fell out and where he's rolled down? Okay. What I will say is you don't have any goggles or anything like that to help protect your eyes against the wind, mm. so you can make a perception check but at disadvantage. I'll try. Damn it, I'm gonna try. I can't read that, but if it's a disadvantage, that one's irrelevant because this one was a four, so a seven. Seven. Man. No. Callan. Yes. Uh, we may hold our breath for a number of. Minutes? Minutes. Equal to one plus our con mod. Okay. Uh, Woden, constitution modifier. Two. So you've got three minutes of air. Heaps of time. Okay. So, so does that mean I can't take an action because I'm suffocating? We'll, we'll, get, we'll get to you then. Um, is that what you... So 
you, that was your turn to so turn around. Crying out and, and looking, looking for, yeah. All right, Woden, so coming to you, you are upside down, half buried in the snow. What would you like to do? Can I, like, extend all my limbs through the snow to see if I can find anything solid, or am I sort of suspended in snow at the moment? You're suspended in snow at the moment. So I can't reach any solid... Let's put this down to luck of the die, shall we? Oh, I'm going to give you... What do we think is fair? 25% chance that you oh, might be able to find purchase on oh. something. Tell me to roll it. I will roll a centile die. What we're looking for is 26 and over on the die. Oh, 20, 26, sorry. 25, 25 yeah, yeah. and under on the die. We'll let you find something solid within range that you won't going to be able to get to immediately, but it might give you some sort of purchase. Unfortunately, with 55, you are suspended in snow. Nothing seems to be giving you any kind of solid feedback that you can push off of, or grab, or manipulate. Would that be considered my action? Trying to find something No, no, solid? I'll give you a bit more. Okay. Because it's pretty dire. Is, uh, is Beefcliff still on my back? Yes. You ha didn't say that you had taken him out, and you were fixing your hair. So yes, he was still on your back. I'll, uh, grab Beefcliff. Okay, what I will say is that's going to be an athletics role. Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to... You're upside down. Um, so the, the pommel of Beefcliff is, is sticking up out of the snow. And you're trying to reach back and pull it and, I guess, almost shut it out of the snow like it's all in the way. Okay, yeah, yeah. that's fair. Give me an, so, athletic, give me athletics. an athletics role. Come on. Oh, what the... Like, off, how did I miss that? How job. did you? Did you I have a tray over It's there? like down the hallway. Yeah. He missed. <laughs> I don't understand. So I'm gonna say the just, just so anyway. everyone knows, he just missed the tray and the table. <laughs> so I think, on the ground. I think you barely missed the cat. Um, oh yeah, it's a cat. Um, all right, let's try that again. Oh whoa! Fifteen. Fifteen. Not bad. Okay, I'll allow you to draw a beef cliff. Yes. With the power of Beefcliff in my hand, <laughs> I cast light upon it. Ooh, okay. Uh, which right. will bright light for twenty feet. Okay. So hopefully I'll be a little like little bauble underneath the what, snow. What I will say is that the the, the blizzard does severely limit light, but uh, it's going to give you a better chance of being spotted if someone's looking for you. All right. Okay. And um. After I've done that, I'll just, um... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Remember how I was saying how last episode was so hard to edit? <laughs> I feel that it's good, the trend that's going to continue. Okay. Uh, I'll, if I do a gesture, get ready for a yell. Okay? <laughs> that's not going to help me when I'm listening to that. That is true. Okay. Now, what I'm going to say is that cry for help from Woden, uh, Horatio has a chance to hear. Give me a perception check at disadvantage because you're still in a blizzard. Mm. Come on, double speed, that wouldn't baby. Wouldn't counteract the. Sorry. That wouldn't counteract the disadvantage. Hearing what? like if the, there's a voice. No, this is the fact that he gets a he gets a chance to hear it is the is the yeah yeah. Okay. With right. blizzard this is the disadvantage. My face. Exactly. Perception, you say? Yeah. With disadvantage. Uh, yes, disadvantage. Yeah. Perception. Oh my god. Oh, what is that? That a three and a seven I rolled. Okay. Uh six. Man. What I'm gonna say is that What's your you... third six? <laughs> Out of three rolls. <laughs> to be fair, there's three been sixes, a lot... to be jump. fair, there's been a lot of disadvantage rolls. Um, a lot of single digits coming up on these bad boys. Yeah, it didn't that's help that, it didn't help that your even your higher die wasn't great. Yeah, that's all good. Okay, so what I will say is that um, the wind is whipping and howling around you. You think you hear the ever so slightest voice on the wind, but it's gone the moment you think you hear it. <laughs> I'm going to move now to both Carnelian and uh, Sveta. So what you've done is you've turned the dogs around. I'm going to say Carnelian was probably mostly into getting the card around while you were helping and then shifting and you did that perception check. Yeah. What do you guys want to do right now? Uh, Carnelian would like to take the rope. 
yep. from his pack that he was grabbing. Yep. And he's going to tie that to himself. Okay. And then to the the sled. Okay, so that rope room. is 50 roughly feet. fifty feet. Yeah. So you've got fifty feet of lead room before it'll go taut. Yep. Right. Um, there's not really a not tying <clears throat> check anymore, is there? Use rope used to be the old three point five. Uh, use and rope. Uh, was, roll was the sword. There was a. <laughs> yeah. the I mean, he could go like oh, the, yeah. the the Boy Scouts route. Yeah, and say it's a survival, survival check. Yeah. Um, I will allow. Leave it up to you. I'm going to say if you can convince me, it's not just survival. You can use a different skill. Um. I mean, I'm efficient with survival, so I'll well, survival then. To... I was just I giving you a chance. <laughs> I was just giving you a different chance. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to give, like, like for lock picking, for example. Uh, I like say nineteen intelligence. Uh, was it nineteen? Okay, you you nice. uh, you tie it together, and you feel like you got a pretty solid knot there. Right. Um, it'll take you. A, it'll take you a little bit to, to do that for now. Uh, so while that's happening, uh, Sveta. Alright, so I was successful in trying to find all tracks of where we yes. came from. Yep. Do I see any impact site from Horatio? Not at this stage. Okay. Did she hear my, <gasps> not gonna do it. <laughs> Did I hear the... <laughs> I'm gonna say that I would like to know what you're doing first. Alright, so taking full advantage of my current form, mm-hmm. I would like to also make a perception check to see if I can hear any uh, pain yells okay. from either of them. Okay. Um... What I will say... Or any class of I am going to say that you might need to... Yeah, okay. Roll, roll the perception check. Uh, roll it flat. I know you've got advantage, but the That's blizzard now is coming in, uh, which would give you disadvantage, so you can roll flat. Also, just before you go, uh, Carnelian, uh, Fairy Fire, is that a concentration spell? Yes. One okay. minute. Uh, I'm going to say by the halfway through, you're going to have to roll a concentration check. That's fine. Okay. Uh, 18. 18. You think you catch some voice, like you're listening and you just, you again, hear the howl of the blizzard as the snow, uh, but you, uh, a snow leopard, you know, it's, that's in your, that's part in your blood and in your shifted blood. And you think you catch the ever so slightest calls of distress on the wind somewhere behind you along the track. Mm-hmm. Um, <gasps> and the other one is less distinct because it's somewhere behind you, but off to the... I'm gonna say. Wouldn't it be in front of me now that I've turned yeah. towards yeah. the old track? No, so you stopped a bit further ahead and then just sort of turned the cart. So yeah. you're at a dead stop where you were. They both fell out and took you a while to stop. Mm. Oh, mm. Right. So um, either way, they're both behind you somewhere, but one's like directly behind you. One's a little bit off to the side. All right. Um, I'm not seeing what Carnelian's doing because I'm, I'm pretty yes. focused on what I'm doing. So I'm not actually gonna. Do the smart thing and tie myself to the car. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna go like in a, a, a direct beeline of where I heard noise. Okay. Are you gonna try and run? No. Or... Probably gonna try and run. Okay. Can't. How? What's the distance that fairy fire is for? Uh, is that it, thirty feet? Uh, no, no. It's no. ten foot light. It's just that it's something that specifically you can see through like. Okay. So fog clouds. Yeah, but you there's not like a range of like if someone leaves the fairy fire range. There's not like a range no. of fire. Oh, okay. I think it's only a minute spell, so it's not. Yeah, I think that's why it's like that. So does that mean it's only limited by the perceiver's ability yes. to see? Yes. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Makes it visible. Okay. So what I'll say, Carnelian, is you finish tying off your rope and you turn around to see um, Svetas full shifted mode and just ears twitching, and suddenly. Poof, takes off. Uh, in which direction? Skip, skip. Directly, technically directly behind you. You don't really know that, but she's taken off opposite direction of the car. Mm. You, I will say, you have a chance to act before she disappears into the fog, into the blizzard. You've got me saying fog now because you said fog cloud enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just like the <laughs> the standard thing to confirm. It's, it's, it's an easy it's comparison for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, so you you still have sight of her right now, but if and especially with your fairy fire. Uh, but if you let her go, you'll need to start trying to find her. In the I mean, blizzard. she has a fairy fire on her as well. Correct, yeah. So you'll have... She's you'll, lit. I'm just saying that she'll disappear into that blizzard. You'll uh, have to go I, find I her. will try and call after her to say, tie yourself to the <laughs> sled. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, turn around. Just like, full pelt, stop. Right. Turn around. Run back to the car. Okay. <laughs> And um, get my pack that I've got. Yep, it's in the cart. And tie it on my, uh, just around my waist. Yep. And 
Roll me a, someone roll me a survival I'll, check. I'll roll a survival check. We've been banished. I, I, I'll assist her. Oh, yeah. She's come back. Well, yeah, I've, got, I've got advantage anyway. you got advantage. Oh, is it all, is it all wisdom checks? Or is it just yeah, perception? it's all wisdom checks. That's, that's wisdom, the nature of like, this shifting ability. Ability checks or just in general? Just in general, is it? So... Strong. The GM might ask you to make a wisdom Strong. check for the following track hunt while game. Um, it's while shifted. Mm. Any wisdom saves I have. Wisdom. So wisdom save is a specific. Oh, thing. sorry, no. Um, like wisdom check. Sorry. Okay. Um, so that includes like animal handling, medicine, right. perception, um, and okay. survival. Yep. Yep. That's good. You yeah. good? So roll. Roll with advantage. Okay. Oh, inside. Insight is a wisdom base. Yeah, it check. is. Yeah. Only wise people can be insight. Only right. wise people can figure out if you're lying or not. <laughs> yes, it's alright. What was I doing? Survival, Survival check. So sorry, I got distracted by life. Uh, 18. 18. So you think you've got a pretty firm nut as okay. well? Pull this. I'm going to just chuck the end of the rope to you and I continue pelting. Okay, so you're not <laughs> even tied to the card. It's just no, you I just threw it at him. Okay, yeah. Alright. Uh, and then you just take off. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ratio? Anything else? Just still. So is it my action again? My turn? Yes. Mm, I'll probably continue the distress call. Okay. Can I just try to look around for impact points again? Uh, hey, how does that work? Well, I'm going to say it's going to depend on what Woden does. So I'm going to say at the moment you're still calling out. Calling out and sort of tr- trying to get the bearings, seeing okay. if there's tracks, where any impact point, any markings in the snow. Okay. Uh, well, I might get back to you on that. Woden, is there anything else you'd like to do, or are you waving Beef Cliff around? <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll wave Beef Cliff around, see if I can reach any further with him in my hand. Okay, I'm going to say it's been, at this point, a minute. You've only got a couple minutes left before you start to suffocate. Alright. Sveta, I... No, Carne- oh, yeah, Carnelian was following you. All right. right? No, well. No, no, Carnelian stayed behind to tie her off at the other end because she tossed the rope to oh, him. I thought he was, she was just getting telling you to like follow her. Because yeah, he she's feet pulling range. the sled, sled now. She's the sled <laughs> Here dog. Here we go. <laughs> okay, uh, so you're, you're wanting to tie off her rope then? Yes. Okay, roll me a survival check. Oh, that's Ooh. much worse. Uh, that is a five. Too quick. All right. Cool. I'll keep that in mind. 50 feet. Uh, halfway through a knot, just yanks out of your yeah. head. No, no. You run for like a solid 30 seconds. This is a long road. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what I want to say is, Sveta, uh, while, while that's happening, roll me a perception check. Flat. No fears. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> 10. 10. Okay. Um... Ratio, uh, you now get a perception check with disadvantage to try and okay. see what you're looking for. I can't see shit. Oh, oh, oh no. Do you want to use hey, different dice? So, let me just, for the people at home, I actually, oh no, I got a, another six. <laughs> Are you joking? No. Oh, I was preparing to explain that it's possible to get zero because I thought I was minus three for a minute because I rolled a three. <laughs> It turns plus three, so we six. Six. And again, that's four in a row. That is four in a row, uh, and I just can't let that slide. The dice are telling me. How's he doing? You don't see I anything. Die. I die. You just. I die. Um, roll. I would like you to. Still yelling. Roll me, a, and I'll do get her. I'll get wo- both ratio and Woden to do this for me. You guys have no cover out here. Oh, roll me, roll me. me. I have full cover. Yeah, full <laughs> cover. In, full cover in snow. Uh, <laughs> it is cold, and it's already starting to affect you. Roll me some constitution <laughs> saves, please. Oh. Jokes on you. I'm gonna roll good now. I did. Actually, snow's a good insulator. I'm not even joking. I know. <laughs> Let me have this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jokes on you. I'm constipated. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, fuck. <laughs> is, it a, is it is it another six? Is it disadvantage? Am I no, right? no. Hang on, I've rolled I've rolled two. Okay, no, roll one. No, roll one. Is, you don't need disadvantage for this. Uh, that's not bad. Con save. Yes. 
14. 14. Yeah, and Woden? I got the 6 this time. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Woden. He's shivering. Take me one point of cold damage. I'm not that cold. And um, <laughs> I'm going to say... Oh boy. Um, I'm going to say you have disadvantage on your checks at the moment. Oh. Your, your skill checks. Okay. Not that it probably helps you, uh, hinders you too much. Uh, and I'm going to say you've been holding your breath for a minute and a half. Spencer, what would you like to do as you're running? Uh, I would like to call out in a animalistic fashion, okay. which I'm really hoping doesn't scare away. Oh, actually, when I think about this, it's probably not a good idea. But um, <laughs> in like a cat, I'm done. you know, like those I'm jungle finished. cat noises. Do you think you could try and make the sound into the microphone? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> well, I don't know if my snow leopards just come running. Okay. <laughs> no, it won't be like that. But okay. I'll let it something in. Um, okay, I'm, right, I'm, right. <laughs> I'm not going to make that. We've got to go real technical with this one. Look, you're okay. having a tough time. Cat fight screen. Yeah. In that case, you? you're going to screech out <laughs> as this kind of mountain liony kind of it snow will... leopardy. If you listen closely, it might even sound like Horatio, but in a cat way. Okay. <laughs> Horatio, roll me a perception check with disadvantage. Okay. Don't get a six. Please roll some different dice. My right. goodness. So good. Yeah, you just, you just, yeah, I'm gonna roll out the shit, man. I'm gonna roll out the shit. Get for the goods. Oh. That's that. I can't read that. No, that's a three. Plus, <laughs> was it perception? Yeah. That's a six. It's... <laughs> <laughs> that's a goddamn six. One would think. Said, what? <laughs> One would think. And you'd waited your dice to be shit. <laughs> yeah, I just, my dice are loaded, but against me. Against you. Yeah, you're so really bad at loading them. <laughs> Alright, there is something that I want to happen then from that interaction. <laughs> uh, Woden, is there anything you'd like to do before I play this out? I'm so dead. Uh, do I have an action? Yes. I'm going to... A set of actions. You can do a few actions at once. Hell yeah. Uh, I think I only want one. Yeah. But I'm just gonna, because I don't like, I, I've been flailing around, I can't mm -hmm. find anything solid. I'm just gonna see if I can, like, create a, I don't know, get a sense of which way is up mm -hmm. by shooting an Eldritch Blast in a random direction. Okay. And see if it, like, either, if I can see it, like, maybe impact okay. the floor or, like, see if I can create a, like, see the sunlight or the blizzard above make, or anything. Can I say something real quick? Because didn't you know you were upside down? You do kind of know that you're upside down, but like it's hard to, it is even being upside down kind of hard to tell. Oh uh, yeah. Angled. Yeah, true, I like the idea um, to sort of see, you want to see if you have to like... Oh okay, I thought to... this whole time that the issue was that I don't know which way is up. Not no, no, that no, I, I think, can't actually move. I think it's very difficult to move and okay. you kind of know you're upside down. That being said, you don't really know if like you're directly upside down or on an angle or anything like that but you'd probably th pretty think you're pretty sure you're like mostly upside down All you right. still want to shoot I'll, just, yeah, I'll just pop one off anyway so maybe it'll be like a, a flare okay i'm gonna give you four directions one either side of you one straight to the ground and one straight towards the air okay roll me a d4 the directions go one ground two and three go either side of you Four goes directly up. Two. Two. All right, so you shoot and you just look as you shoot this Eldritch Blast and it just carves like almost like a tunnel for about 10 feet. It's just in. All right, I'll just continue flailing. Okay. Here's a question for you. Yes. He just generated more space around himself. Would that give him more oxygen? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, but it will make it easier for him to move. Okay. If he wants to try something. I guess you kind of made an igloo. Potentially, if you shoot the right way, you might be able to give yourself a breathing hole. Do you want to try again? Sure, if I can. If you roll a four, I'm going to say you shoot straight upwards and you give yourself, before the snow caves back in on it, because it's still a blizzard, you might give yourself a little bit more air. It's another two. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to say it's the opposite direction. Alright. Um, that's what I'm going to do for now. This is a couple of things that happen simultaneously. Um, as the rope coils out and out and out, and you
and you just Carnelian is looking at the rope and he's just like done a good job <laughs> and then as that happens the rope goes taunt slips off of it just goes Pew! oh dear is there anything you'd like to do in that immediate action uh yeah grab it because I still have 50 feet of okay. time to me famously reflex save <laughs> dexterity saving throw uh 19 19 as you you just see it go taunt and you go oh no as it flips out both your hands go and grab it and catch a grip and you go flying out because you're light right it's just it's not your pack it's just you and maybe your weapon and your clothes and you just go sailing in that direction Sveta, you notice uh, that the a bit uh, of resistance the, the, <laughs> there was slight resistance for a moment and then it just sort of goes all breezy and then you're like I wonder what happened just there as you uh, look back then look forward, and then your ears twitch as you hear Horatio's distress sound. And suddenly you see Horatio as you're plowing straight towards him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say you basically tackle <laughs> Horatio. Tackle him. Oh. Slam down him. Yep. I killed you. <laughs> you, you burned me. Carnelian, <laughs> uh, you come to a sudden stop as you land on the ground, and you look up. Uh, and you can see faintly glowing in the distance from Fairy Fire, uh, Sveta. How far away is she from the car? Well, uh, you're, it, she's probably about 50 feet away from you, and then, like I say, another like 10 feet away from the car. So you're pretty close. Okay, you can see both. Okay. I'll, like, tug. Okay. The rope. Just... You feel a tug on the rope behind you, and you are now, you've, ta- you've crash-tackled uh, Horatio. What would you like to do, Sveta? <clears throat> I'm going to turn to Horatio. Are you hurt? Are you okay? Um, I, I don't think I'm hurt. Am, am, am I? No. You haven't taken any damage yet. Damage. Damage. No, no you just scuffed up. I, no, I'm, I, I think I'm fine. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'm mm. all right. Take. I'm okay. Do you have rope? No, you don't have rope. I. It's in the cart. I might. Oh, but my own pack. Do you have? We, I think we were saying it made most sense for it to be stowed in the cart. That's mm. true. Yeah. Right. Uh, no, it, it, it's in the in the in the cart. But uh, do you know any like survival spells? I'm I think I'm out of my shifting form now. It's been probably okay. about a minute since I've seen him. Okay. Well, you found you found okay. Yeah. Um, I'm okay with that. Do I have any survival spells at all? Yeah. Uh, there is this this one thing that the, the priest showed me quickly. Uh, I I've never tried it, but. Uh, here goes, and I uh, close my eyes, um, bring my hands together. I, I'm doing what I think's a prayer. Like, <laughs> remember, I'm not a religious man, so I'm kind of doing what I've seen other priests do. Mm. So I bring my hands in, draw my head downwards towards my hands, and just sort of think of light. And if I try to focus on nothing else, and I'll cast light. Okay. Um... From memory, I think you've you. This is like the first time you've cast Cult Told the Dead before, right? Yeah. So they te- well, that's a Kelimvor staple. Mm. That one. So yeah. yeah, they taught me that. Made sure I had that so I could protect myself. Yeah. Um, they did mention other spells that would be taught to me in due course. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this I recall was one of them. So I kind of just thought about it. And... Okay. You. Almost like as a prayer, like close your eyes for a second and do the motions that the priests uh, said to do. What are you casting light on as a voice fills your head ever so briefly? Yes. You have to cast it on an object of some sort. Can I cast it on myself? You cast it on an article of clothing Actually, or something like that? I'll cast it on my mace. Yeah. I was going to recommend the rope. But I don't know if it would trail a long I think it, Yeah, I think there's a maximum size. I, I like mace better because I know yeah, for absolutely. sure you can cast it on that. that. That is a good question, though. If you cast light on a rope <laughs> and then uncoil <laughs> it. <laughs> how, how long does, does it dim? Light should, does have some, I think, restrictions on how big an object you can cast it on. Let's have a look. take a look at that while Ten we're going to move. What, I'll get you to take a look at that, one of you two, uh, while... Yeah, no larger than 10 feet in any dimension. Oh, ah, okay. So I don't think that'll work, but... You can definitely cast it on your mace. Okay, I do that, and then I hold it aloft. Okay, Woden, what you got? You've got a tunnel that goes 10 feet to your left. 
tunnel that goes 10 feet to your right. You've got a little bit more movement for your arms now, and you can guess. I'm going to say you now know which direction is your feet, like, is pointing towards the sky. You're half buried. Pretty much your beef cliff is sort of straggling out. You've got one hand here, one hand here. (laughs) You're in this awkward position where you've got your arm free. Upside down with my beef cliff hanging out. Beef cliff's hanging out. (laughs) Feet are dangling. No shame. What do you want to do? I might just um, let go of beef cliff and I'll start tunneling. I'll just start digging because I do know which direction is up now. Yes. So I'll start sort of tunneling towards that. Okay, roll me an athletics check. Dig up, stupid. (laughs) That's a ten. Okay. I was going to have everything cave in on you if you failed there, but... I don't think you made it by enough to really make a lot of progress, but you haven't made things worse for yourself either. <laughs> I've you have created some, some breathing room. You've now. created a little bit of breathing room, although you're still close to suffocation because you've just been moving stuff around, but you, you now can position your arms where you want them to be. So you have far more control over the, the top half of your body moving around. Okay. Uh, the both of you are now together. You've got a light. Uh, hmm. You feel a tug on your waist. I'd like um, one of you to make me a perception check with advantage. No me, no me, no me. Uh, the, um, Unless you want to see the five seasons. very fire only lasts a minute as well. So, when Svetis... so yours is going to start running. Yeah, it's going to start running out. But you know you've got a hold of the rope. Well, it'll be out by now because it cast yeah. it before. It... Yeah, so it's, it's out. But it, the last thing it did was fade out on you stopping. and he was. So he knows where you are. Great. I also am holding the rope still. So. Yes. What do you see? Some tracks? Impact marks? Anything? With advantage? With advantage. Excellent. 20. You see, off into um, your left, out in the darkness in the fog, a slight light. Alright, sorry. Uh, so I do see oh, a light? You see a light burning against the dark, okay. yes. Um, stay here. Um, I'm gonna Are you sure that's wise? Yeah. Yeah, Probably time. not. I have a light. I can. Oh. However, oh. if I stay here, I can help give you something to come back to. Yes, please. Okay. All right. I will stay. Thank you. So I'm going to untie the rope that's around yep. my waist, pass it to Horatio. Yep. And immediately yep. bolt off to where the other light is. Okay. He's hoping he's less than <laughs> 50 feet away. I hope so. Whoa. Will right. I be able to determine if there's a. It's close. A, it's... An, a decline? There is a, definitely a decline. Okay. Well, I can see that, though, so I'm going to... Like, Absolutely. Okay, great. You, you, you are bolting off, but you are carefully, and uh, you know, you're, you're still, like, you know, making your way uh, short-footed. Uh, you get closer and closer, and then... It sit, so now, behind you, is a light that's sort of being held aloft, and you can see it moving slightly back and forth. In front of you, you see a light that's on the ground, and two legs that are poking up out of the snow. <laughs> okay. Are they perfectly formed legs? And- <laughs> They're just like kicking. Oh. Like bi- bicycle kicking the air. <laughs> Immaculate calves. Right, um, I'm gonna... If it's still okay for me to keep going. You can keep going, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go down to where these legs are. Yep. One can only assume there's a, the shapely legs of Woden. And uh, I'm gonna actually call out I'm hoping you can hear um this may sting but I will help you after and I'm going to cast did I hear, cause... hmm? did I hear? Uh, you... vaguely you hear like <laughs> oh my god that sounds like a bear <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I'm going to cast bonfire <laughs> <laughs> it's so much worse than a bear it's fire <laughs> snow around you <laughs> but then I'm gonna cast cure wounds on you afterwards right, let's, let's play out the bonfire first. hopefully it doesn't uh, kill you you can't dodge this so um, what's your damage on bonfire 1d8 1d8 roll a 1d8 for me oh my god <laughs> how many hit points do you have I actually know it doesn't matter roll wait you roll a 1d8 I it was 1d6 not 1d8 1d8. Can roll I retract that? Nope. I'm not doing it now. <laughs> roll 1d8. No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. No, that's a, that's a d20. <laughs> <laughs> what? 16 points of damage from the d8. 
Four, four points. Oh wait. Yeah, four. Four points. You take. <laughs> so sorry. Warden, you take four points of fire damage. Oh my god. Does the snow melt? <laughs> the snow melts though. Fantastic. And you can dig Warden out. All right, we'll be what? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Do, can I like grab him? Like... Shorts. Well, I, I'm gonna play this out. Okay, so we've gotten to the point where I think I can probably play this out now. <laughs> you uh, melt Woden out of the snow. He falls over, uh, legs briefly on fire before he rolls in the melted water to put his leg down. You just smell my burning leg hair. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it, it would be as soon as like just dis- dismiss the bonfire. Yeah, it's, like, it's okay. I just let me let me play this out. So you he 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 flops down. Uh, and he stands up. I'm going to say you grab Beefcliff, but you're a bit unsteady on <laughs> your feet. So Sveta helps you. Uh, and she still does know where the light that Horatio is holding aloft is. And she makes her way back to Horatio. From there, you can reel the rope back into Carnelian and get back to the sled. Before, before right. we, we head off in that direction... I immediately want to cast Cure Wounds. Uh, let's let's just say once you get... I'm going to say once you get back to the car. Okay. So... I'm so sorry. So, uh, <laughs> Horatio, before... like, So you see Woden and, and Sveta coming out of the distance. Maybe mm. maybe Woden, like, hung over, like, your Probably shoulder. Probably got him draped. Yeah. Draped over your yeah. shoulder uh, with, with pretty sore... Bernie I'm sort of cuddling beef for comfort. <laughs> it's like when Not someone like crosses the road by and, and then both of you help. Like when uh, you, sorry, when you cross the road of bitumen, hot bitumen. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! And just like oh, yeah. you know, it's hot when your shoes start melting in the bottom. Um, you then track your way back to Carnelian, who's holding one rope going to the sled and one rope going to you. You all get back to the sled, and yes, at that time. You can lay, uh, you have to touch, uh, wound. I haven't let go of him, so, um, yeah. And you cast Cure Wounds. Okay. So, Horatio's never seen you do healing magic, so he's very intrigued. Um, the way it works, you'll probably see, um, sort of like a green kind of glow that almost has like little wisps of, uh, leaves coming around it. Okay. And it immediately, when I lay it on Woden, it would like... You can sort of see the intricacies of his veins throughout his system and just like revitalizes Ooh. where the pain is. So it immediately goes to his legs. Mm. Um, and he would receive six points of healing back. Very nice. Yes. Excellent. You feel the healing magic surging in you and uh, skin uh, that was seared and, and possibly third degree burned uh, starts mending itself and grafting itself into new skin. Um, if you had bones that were broken, they would be instantly knit together. If you had cuts, they would be stitching themselves almost uh, as if you were Wolverine. Um, so, in this case, Woden is he- healed up. Horatio is fascinated by Sveta's healing abilities. Absolutely. As well. Doesn't look like you can cure. Wait a minute. Doesn't look like you can cast cure pants, though. <laughs> the pants are a little singed. Actually. They're, you don't have no pants, they're just singed. Cure pants. Just, just for anyone listening and also for Warden's benefit if you are wearing anything that's flammable it actually doesn't go on fire yeah oh. if you're wearing it it doesn't yeah, yeah. it's magical yeah. fire I believe they did that for what I would call the decency rule mm. but I can just manually singe your pants if you make you feel better. leave my pants I guess no. I, I'm gonna, it was necessary I'm sorry I don't think it was I, I'm gonna I'm gonna play Set this into <laughs> I can still just picture it in my head. He's just going, ooh, no, 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 no. And he's like, his feet dangling. He's like, look at him and he's like, fire on his feet. He's like, no, no. <laughs> and then they start going from like dangling, like thrashing. Yep. <laughs> Love it. Sorry. If, All right. If I was Somewhere. still shifted, <laughs> if I was still still shifted, I probably would have tried and dug him out. But um... no, I like this better. <laughs> uh, what I want to know is, what do you guys want to do? You've gotten back to the cut. You are still exposed, though. Pittens. Okay. Right. Tie the cart down. Get blankets. Okay. This is a smart cobalt. All right. Mm. What I will say is, you. Uh, I'm able to do that. I'm not going to make that a roll. Um, I think that's pretty reasonable that between the four of you, you get pittance on each side. You um, get. Do you guys all have uh, like tents or sleeping blankets or anything like that? Mm, that's a great question. Uh, oh well, wait, no. Didn't you have we, access we, to your packs? Didn't yeah. we buy? A... You guys didn't buy anything before you left. 
I thought that was very that was brave silly of us. us. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we were I'm, in a bit of a hurry. I have a thick quilted blanket made to keep me warm in the cold weather. Okay. That's handy. Wish I had that. So you've also got a bunch of dogs to also try and keep warm as well. I just want to know if you've got enough coverage between like a bunch of like I've got a, sorry, I've got tarps a or I got a blanket. Okay, I'm going to say between quilts and blankets that you have, you have enough pittance as well uh, to just nail a very temporary shelter that keeps the wind off of you, helps you keep close to the dogs. Carnelian does have ten pittance in his pack. Indeed. I think that is more than enough. So what I'll say is that you are able to make a very makeshift secure shelter, uh, but to keep the warmth in, you're all going to need to keep close for warmth. Do we have any, like, like, wood? I think you've got two pieces of wood. Hmm. I think creating a fire might be a bit problematic within this thing, so I think what you're trying to try and do... normally it would be, but cheat with magic. (laughs) You can cheat with magic, yeah. Um, I'm going to say, look, to play this out, I think you've got enough... Uh, handy dandy magic and uh, bodies nearby to keep retained body warmth because this storm is going to last for 2d4 hours. And we have eight dogs also. Yeah, exactly. we that's what I was getting at. Dogs. That's what I was getting yeah. at. Everyone's got to be in close. Dog cuddles. Yeah. Dog cuddles for warmth. That's oh, cuddles. I thought you were wrong to see how many dogs survive. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You lose 2d8 dogs. Not, <laughs> oh. not this time. This blizzard lasts for four hours. By the time you uh, it, it blows over and you're able to finally uh, break the, the, the blankets that are your um, shelter, you will look out into this completely like fresh snow landscape. All direction right now is lost until you figure out where you're going, which way you're pointing and what works. I'm going to say that it is now uh, you had gone well past what you were trying to do was make for um uh care care uh and you have lost a lot of time so much so that it's no longer that sort of dawn to uh dawn light that it always is it's now that sort of twilight and it's getting dark and so we need to find out what's going to happen next week oh what <laughs> oh man! <laughs>